Hello, Verbling.com members. You have it all here at Verbling.com, the best place in the world to learn a second language, especially English, because you can connect and improve your English with a native speaking English teacher instantly. 24 hours a day, seven days a week. This is incredible. It's incredible. Plus, you can interact directly with your teacher with their Facebook page. My Facebook page is open to you. Please come to my Facebook page and post a specific topic idea for something that you would like to read about, something you, that you would like to listen to, and something that you would like to watch, or something that you would like to study and review. And, of course, the most important thing is you need to talk about something to improve your English. How do I, how do I learn a language? You need to read it and understand it. You need to listen to it and understand it. <laughs> you know where I'm going with this. <laughs> you need to watch videos and understand them. And you need to speak and write and be understood. Do the other people understand you? Okay, so let's get cooking. This hour, we are going to take a look at some of the recipes, some more of the recipes from a super cooking site. It's called startcooking.com. Uh, there's actually another uh, video as well that we're going to take a look at. And we're going to be reading the list of ingredients. We are going to be reading the directions on how to, uh, how to uh, cook or prepare the recipe. And we're going to be looking at some videos that show all the information that you need, all of the cooking techniques, uh, all of the equipment that you need, in the video, you can see all of the ingredients that you need. So, we need some people to come on into the kitchen. <laughs> Everyone, push that green button and come on into the kitchen, and let's get cooking. Now, we have a document at the verbling.com website, and so uh, it's called, simply enough, G3. So, please look for that document and download it so that you'll be able to read the text that's clear. You have the links to the YouTube videos if you want to watch them again after the class. And um, we have some pictures of the meals that we are going to learn how to prepare. All right. And so uh, we have some, some comments. So Pablo is saying... Uh, you you need you mean all the ingredients that my mom needs. <laughs> I never cook. All right. Uh, yeah. Thanks to mom. And uh, yeah. All right. And just people asking whether they cook or not. And so Edelbaran loves cooking. Okay. So I would like to um, I would like to uh, say hello to everyone. If they can tell us where they're connecting from, and also I would like to ask people what has been their most uh, complicated recipe, or what have you cooked that was the hardest meal to prepare? Uh, it, it was uh, a complicated recipe. And I'm going to start backwards tonight. So, Omar, hello? No. So, have you uh, ever? Actually, I'm not a great. Uh, yes, I did, but I'm not that kind of cooker. So, cook. of cook. So, usually, mm -hmm. the, most of the food that I made is uh, somehow snacks food. The one that you can find it on a uh, uh, on uh, cold, and then you just heat it. For example, <laughs> hot dogs or something like this. I don't <laughs> okay. like the cooks uh, actually. All right, but one time. I mean, I have no time. Once. 
did you have you prepared something like maybe a barbecue with several different kinds of meat or no? Well, the most complex uh, food I have made is spaghetti. Okay, all right. Did you make the sauce, or did you buy that in no, a package? No, no, only only the, the spaghetti. <laughs> okay, all right. So great. Uh, you you need these lessons, uh, Melissa. <laughs> hello, how are you? Hello, Melissa. Hi. Hi. Where are you connecting from? Uh, from Argentina. Okay, great. And so, can you tell us about your most amazing meal or the most complicated recipe that you were able to prepare? Well, once I was told told that I had to prepare a kind of pie, you know. Okay. Yes. But it was like not a dessert. Sweet. No, it was not a dessert. It was like a salad. But in a pie, it was oh, something okay. like that, and it was really complicated because it was the first time that I was practicing cooking. Okay. <laughs> and I did a mess, and my dad got really angry with me. Okay, you you made <laughs> we we say in English I made a mess of the kitchen. Yeah. Uh, okay, so it was a salad prepared in like uh, a bowl, made yeah. of pastry, so you could eat the bowl. You it, it was, yeah. Uh, like it was I like, like a, yeah. You know, like uh, an apple pie, uh, apple pie. You know. Yes. It looked like one, but it was not sweet. Okay. It was salty. Made with eggs, lots of eggs. Yeah, with eggs and okay. vegetables. All right. Maybe it was a quiche. I'll I'll write that down for you. You can look it up. Thank okay. you. Welcome. Uh, sounds like you need these cooking lessons too. Aiban? Uh, 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 Aihan. Aihan. Hello, yes. welcome. Where Hello. are you connecting from and what is your uh, work of art food uh, preparation? Uh, I'm from Turkey, connected mm -hmm. from Turkey. And uh, one time, uh, just uh, today, uh, oh. I cooked, I cooked uh, salted chicken. You you cooked what kind of chicken? Uh, chicken, butt, butt, and uh, tomato, pepper, and salted chicken. Salted. Onion, yes. Okay, so with salt on it. Salt, uh, red pepper. Okay. Pepper yes. and uh, thyme. Uh, how can I say? Thyme. Me. Is it an herb? Thyme. Uh, uh, like leaves? I can't, I, can, I can't read, but like this. Uh, thyme is, yes, thyme. that is a spice. Well, an herb, we say. Yeah. And we, we do not pronounce the H. That is an herb. How can I read this? Thyme. Thyme. L just like the, what time is it? Yes, time. Okay. okay. Okay, excellent. Okay. Uh, yeah, I like that. Okay, great, excellent. Uh, welcome. Uh, Astrid, hello. How are you? Now you need to turn on your microphone. <laughs> hello. Hi. So please tell us where you're connecting from and what was your greatest accomplishment when it came to cooking something? Uh, I am connecting from Colombia mm -hmm. and a complicated uh, recent. Mm, I don't know. I like cooking desserts. Yes, desserts? desserts. Desserts of three meals with a con a con condensed milk with Veg condensed milk. Condensed milk and um, and milk and. Um, uh, I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, this is this is where people need to use the Google Translate to get the English words for different foods and ingredients. So condensed milk. So uh, yeah, is 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 it like a a cake, a cheesecake, or a pie? Exactly. Yes. Yeah. 
Okay. All right. So you specialize in making desserts. Okay, good. <laughs> We're going to take a look at a recipe for a dessert uh, this, this hour. Uh, Armando, hello. Armando, are you there? Please turn on your microphone. Yes, I am here. Hello, how are you? Hello, everybody. <laughs> Please tell us where you're connecting from and what was your greatest accomplishment as a cook? Mm. I, I am not a very good chef, but I like to make all kinds of food because I live alone only with my son. Uh, okay. I am a divorced man. Um, I have to try to make different kind of meals for us. For example, one of my my speciality is what well those sure one of my uh, specialties or yeah yes yeah, some are the pozole, all kind of tacos, Mexican tacos. Oh, okay, good, <laughs> good. Um, uh, and and I can cook some 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 cakes. Okay. I like I, I, to and and we say to bake. Uh, the verb uh, when you're when you're cooking a cake okay. is to bake it in the oven. Ah, uh, okay. You bake cakes and cookies and pies bake. in the oven. Mm, yeah. Yes, that's, that's right. The verb that we use. All right. Well done. Well done. Okay. Mm. Well, we've got some ideas, yeah. and we've got sort of a a semi Mexican recipe that we're going to look at tonight. So welcome. Uh, Andres, hello. Now you need to turn on your microphone by clicking on the icon of the microphone. Yes? Okay, hello, how are you? Good. Where are you connecting from? Uh, from Argentina. Okay, and so what can you tell us about a, a recipe, a meal that you prepared? Uh, for yes, for instance, today I made a. Uh, I, I, I love cooking, and today oh, I made. How do you call uh, meatballs? Could be yes. Yes, meatballs and a kind of salad of uh, potato, peas, peas. peas Sorry, uh, again. Uh, yeah, peas and carrots. Peas, peas and carrots, and that's what my my food today. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. Great. Excellent. So you'll be able to help us today, and I'm okay. going to move on to uh, Ahmad. Welcome. Hi. Yeah. And uh, so, cooking? Yes, uh, okay. Uh, this is Ahmed from Saudi Arabia. Uh, okay, uh, the best uh, accomplishment. <laughs> uh, yes, cook, uh, yeah, uh, I am, I become able to, um, to make uh, spaghetti bolognese. Oh, okay. And yeah. so, it's the sauce? Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and do you add anything special to it? Um, I don't know if you uh, consider this as uh, special or not. Uh, some basil, fresh basil. So, yeah, basil. Yeah. Okay. Mm, basil, yeah. Mm -hmm. This. And uh, some uh, um, uh, sli uh, slices of olives. Yes, sliced well. olives. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. to uh, make it uh, more tasty. All right. Yeah. yeah. Okay, great. Well, that's good. That's good. And uh, I'm going to go on to uh, Adelina. Hi, hello. Hello. Where where are you connecting from? Uh, I'm connecting from Argentina, Cordoba. Okay. Great. City. Yes. Um, and I, I don't are like... you a cook? <laughs> no, no, no. Okay. I I have two, uh, but uh, since yesterday was my mom here, so I eat very ta very tasty food. Yes. Um, okay. Some some homemade food cooked by your mom. Yeah. Uh, lucky for of me, and um, I used to burn a lot of things, and it's not my uh, good point to cook. Yeah, it's it's not your yeah it's not one of your strengths. My strong point. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Yeah. So how long is your mom visiting? Uh, yes. Uh, yesterday she she came back to his uh, city. She went back to her city. She went back to her city. So she went so back. So now home. I have to right. come back 
to, so, to cook again. So too bad for you. Yeah, you have to go <laughs> back to cooking again. And then Glady is asking me if I can cook. And yes, yeah, I can cook basic. I can prepare basic foods. So simple ingredients. I don't like fancy, complicated recipes. I just like to prepare basic, healthy food and combine it together. But I cook most of the time for myself, almost all the time. And Ab Abdul, Abdul, Abdul Basit. Hello, sir. How are you? Yes, I'm fine. Thank you. Uh, where are you connecting from? And can you tell us of something that you've prepared? Yeah, I'm from uh, California, hmm. and uh, the the hardest recipe for me is I would say barbecue. Okay. Yes. Because the reason is, you know, like, uh, I don't know, you know, how to make uh, the proper fire for the barbecue. Right. And, uh, I mean, how how hard it should be, how to, I mean, make a proper, you know, uh, spices mixture to put on the barbecue, whether it is chicken or beef or fish, you know. Yeah, and, great. And also, I mean, in the middle of, you know, cooking, you know, I try to check, you know, my food. I mean, after every three, four, five minutes, that whether is it ready or not, ready or not. So, I mean, the thing is, like, you know, I don't have, like, you know, pretty much experience in barbecue section of food. Okay. All right. So, good. We'll, we'll definitely do, I'll, I'll definitely do a class on barbecuing. So, you can, uh, yeah, you can, you can try to join that class. So, yeah, barbecuing is an art. You need to adjust lots of different things, especially if you're cooking several different kinds of meat. Exactly. All right, great. So welcome, everybody. So uh, let's, let's get cooking, which is an expression in English, just to mean let's get started. I hope that you've been able to download the document, and uh, I'm going to put it on the screen share. So it's just a simple process. We're going to read the um, recipe, and then uh, we're going to use the YouTube application. So I'm just going to turn on the screen share here for a second. Just for new students, this is where the microphone is. So we're asking everyone to please turn on and turn off their microphone each time. And over here on the left-hand side of the screen is your YouTube application. So if people can click on that and activate that or add that, uh, then you should be able to see the um, YouTube videos that we are going to be showing. All right, and so I'm going to put the document on the screen share, and I'm going to ask, uh, please, Abdul, could you please start reading our recipe? Sure. Uh, from here, right? Seven layer yes. dip. Yes. Yeah. Seven layer dip, this delicious Tex-Mex seven layer dip is a great party dish that everyone will enjoy. Learn how to make your own seven layer dip recipe with this simple step-by-step -step video guide. Okay, great. And so just to help everyone, this word is sort of an exception in English, the way it's pronounced. Recipe. Recipe. And so uh, usually the E at the end of a word is silent. We do not pronounce it. But in this case, it's pronounced, well, sort of like a Y, recipe. Okay. And so let's keep going. This is the dip that's on some crackers, or those actually look like um, uh, nacho chips. And so could you please read the ingredients? Sure. Service 12, 2 cans of bean dip, 10, 10 and a half ounce cans, 3 avocados, 2 tablespoons of lime or lemon, or lemon juice, 1 quarter teaspoon of salt, teaspoon of pepper. Please continue. Okay. 1 cup of sour cream, half cup of mayonnaise, 1 packet envelope of taco seasoning mix, one cup of green onion chopped, two and one third ounce, ounces of canned sliced black olives, 
two medium tomatoes, eight ounces of cherry cheese, one package of tortilla chips. Okay. Here. Sorry, I, I'm going to get you to stop there. Thank you. Now that's the list of the ingredients. And uh, sour cream is something that may be specific to North America. So this is a very thick cream that's been made a little bit sour. Uh, I'm not sure what they add to it. But you can sort of make your own sour cream by adding a little bit of vinegar or a little bit of lemon juice to cream. But uh, uh, people can Google that, those ingredients. And here are the directions or the instructions. Uh, Adelina, could you please read this? Adelina, are you there? Yes, I am. No. Oh, sorry. okay. Please, go ahead. Uh, the next line? Yes, layer in a 9 layer by... 9 by uh, 13 by 2 inch service dish, uh, layer 1. Spread in a dish the two cans of bean dip, layer 2. Pell, core and mash three avocados. Um, add two table tablespoon of lime or lemon juice, one quarter teaspoon salt, and one one eighth eighth one eighth eighth, one eighth a teaspoon paper mi mixed together and prepared over the beans. Spread and spread over the beans. Uh -huh. uh, okay. Layer. That's Go ahead, please. Layer three, mix together one cup uh, sour cream, half cup mayonnaise, one pack of taco seasoning mix. Prepare this sour cream mixture over the avocados. Okay, layer and I'm going to get you to stop there. Sorry. So people okay. understand that we're making layers and the layers are put one at a time into the baking dish. Okay, great. And so if I could get you to continue. Me, Adelina? Sure, please. To continue? Mm -hmm. Please. Bien. Uh, layer 4, sprinkle over the sour cream mixture, one cup chopped green onion. Layer 4, uh, drain and sprinkle over the onions and two and a half ones. Two and one quarter? Two and one quarter ones can of sliced black olives. Okay, olives. Now let, me, let me, yeah, let me help you with that. Okay. So it, this is uh, drain, mm -hmm. drain off the liquid and sprinkle over the onions a mm -hmm. uh, Two and one quarter ounce, ounce, can ounce. of sliced black olives. Olives. Black olive. Okay, great. Okay. And layer six. Layer six. Uh, seed and dice. dice and dice and sprinkle over the olives. Two me two mediums tomatoes. 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 Mm -hmm. Tomatoes. Layer seven, grate and sprinkle over the tomatoes. Eight uh, Ounce. ounces, ounces, ounces of cheddar cheese. Okay. Uh, serve with lot of tortilla chips. Okay, great. All right. So that is the uh, recipe. This is you can see sort of a mixture of some of the grated cheese, the olives and the different layers. All right, so what I'd like to do is to put on the YouTube video now, and I think I have it prepared to go. So <clears throat> let's see if I can get this to play.
Two kinds of beam dip. All right, and of course, lots of tortilla chips, because that's what you're going to be eating it with, <laughs> okay? Mm -hmm. And so, does anyone have a comment? Would someone have added a different, uh, would someone have added a different, um, excuse me, added a different uh, ingredient? Any comments? How did... Uh you say the open the yeah go ahead thing, Adelina the thing oh. we you use to open the las latas uh, um, oh a can opener <clears throat> can opener a can opener thank you yeah good yeah, yeah. other questions comments Uh, I mean, really? at the end, yeah, we can serve it uh, with, uh, I mean, instead of uh, tortilla uh, chips, can you use something different, crackers? Yeah, or crackers. Like that, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, small pieces of bread. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sure, yeah. Chris, and uh, so I yeah. have seen this recipe prepared with some, <clears throat> some cooked seafood, a layer <laughs> of cooked seafood, like maybe crab or something like that. Oh, yummy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it can be very, very good. All right. So, and then you, with the with the tortilla chips, you dig in to all of the seven layers. So, yeah, lots of combinations of different flavors. All right, great. And so, were people able to see the video? Did we have any technical problems? Sometimes the sound plays in your in your headphones. Sometimes the sound plays in the speakers on your computer, but okay. So let's move on. Uh, we're, we're going to go with, uh, sorry, I'm going to bring the, the document back up onto the screen share. And this is another Mexican recipe, but we, we say in North America, it's very typical to say Tex-Mex, meaning originally Mexican but sort of changed and adapted for by Americans or Canadians uh, and so we're talking about chicken fajitas and uh, let me see I think uh, the person is uh, Andres could you please okay. read the start of okay. our recipe <clears throat> okay uh, well chicken fajitas chicken fajitas make it for a quick and healthy meal this video making chicken fajitas will show you how to make them, one step at a time. Everyone will enjoy this easy chicken fajitas recipe. Okay, great. Um, and, uh, yeah, th it serves four people, this recipe. Ah, uh, serves four people, okay. Right, there there are enough with with the measurements here. So here's the, here are the chicken fajitas. And could you read the list of ingredients for us, please? Do you want me to read them? Ah, okay. To please read the list of ingredients. Okay. Uh, okay. So, one pound of chicken breasts, boneless, 
one line, two teaspoons of sugar, <coughs> teaspoons of sugar, half teaspoon, teaspoon of garlic powder, half teaspoon of onion powder, one teaspoon of oregano. 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 Half teaspoon of cumin. Of cumin. Half teaspoon of red pepper flakes. One medium, one medium onion slice. Three medium bell pepper slice. A quarter teaspoon of salt. Teaspoon of black pepper. One tablespoon of oil, olive oil. Eight flour tortillas, warmed. Okay, and great. And so black pepper, black pepper. So a, a, so a lot of spices, which is good, because the other recipe asked for a package of taco mix, which is cheating. You're, you're buying the pre-prepared uh, thing. But in this case, you're making your own mixture of spices. <clears throat> and I'd like to go to the next person. And just to remind everybody, you need to keep your microphone muted, please. Uh, the Google technology does not allow you to hear the sound coming from your own microphone, so you don't realize it when you are making sound. We can hear you breathing, we can hear you typing, <laughs> that kind of thing. So, Armando, could you read the instructions or the directions, please? Armando? Okay. Yeah, great. Give me a moment. Okay, I will. It begins with sliced chicken. And remember, uh, if, if you're finding it hard to see the text on the okay. screen, so, you can download the document. Remember, my PC is very slow. But right. I have one now. It's sliced chicken in put in. Now, it's what? Sliced is the beginning. Yes. Okay. It says it's slice chicken, chicken into thin into strips. Thin strips, approximately three inch long, and set them in a flat. Okay. Yeah. Approximately three inch long, and set them in a flat glass baking dish. I am I? Sorry, please, please continue. Hi. Hello, Armando. Please continue. It's we can hear you. You you may want to turn off your video though. That may help the speed of your connection. Huh? I accept. So sorry, Armando. I, no. I'm going to come okay. back to you. Please turn off your Squeeze video. Squeeze the juice yeah. from one limb on, on top of the chicken. Yeah, uh, Armando, sorry, I, I'm going to come back to you. Please turn off your video so that your connection is faster, please. Uh, Aihan, could you please uh, continue reading from uh, Mix Together? Uh, you need to turn on your microphone. Everyone needs to turn on and off their microphone each time, please. Can you hear me now? Yes, thank you. Okay. Mix uh, together. Uh, okay, mix together sugar. Uh, how can I read this? And uh, garlic. garlic. Garlic powder. Okay. okay, garlic powder, onion powder, oregano, cumin, and red paper flakes, and sprinkle the spices onto... Uh, the chicken being sure to coat all the chicken. Mm -hmm. Preheat your oven to mm -hmm. uh, 325 degrees. Rub eight flour tortillas in a clean dish towel and put them in the serving dish. Cover the dish with tin foil and put it in the oven for about 10 minutes to warm up. Preheat preheat uh, your oven safe serving dish into the dish in the oven as well. In a large preheated frying pan, heat one tablespoon of olive oil over medium high heat. High heat. Hmm. When the oil shimmers, add the sliced onions and pepper and salt two three minutes. 
or until tender, season with salt and pepper and remove from pan. Place on heated serving dish, cover with tin foil to keep warm. Okay, and, and I sorry, I'm going to get you to stop there. Thank you. Okay. And so I just wanted to cover saute. This is a French word that we use, and this is to fry something lightly, lightly frying something, just two or three minutes. Okay, to saute and tortilla. Uh, that's the North American pronunciation, tortilla. And great. So we're we're cooking uh, the chicken, frying the chicken. Now I'm going to move on to the next person and. Um, Armando, please turn off your video. That will help the speed of your connection. Bruno, could you please read, continue reading for us? Yes, yeah, sure. Uh, from add the chicken? Please, yeah, thank you. Okay. Um, add the chicken to the hot pan and quickly saute, saute, saute. until you until cook it through approximately five uh, four or five minutes. Add the cooked chicken to the serving platter. Place warm tortilla on a plate. Add chicken and peppers and onions and serve it. Serve. You can garnish chicken fajitas with salsa, guacamole, shredded cheese and sour cream. Okay, great. And so you're garnishing, which means sort of Garnish. to decorate, but obviously, you know, those, that adds a lot to the okay. flavor of it as well. Okay, and so uh, any questions or comments about the recipe? Okay, so you're cutting the chicken into thin strips. You're mixing, uh, well, you're squeezing some lime juice on the chicken. You're mixing together all the spices and covering or coating the chicken with all of the spices then you're preheating your oven what is okay. cumin? Yeah. What I'm is sorry? Cumin. Uh, uh, yeah that is a, a type of spice so you'll, you'll need to look it up it, it's not very commonly used it's not widely used in North America I think it's, it's a, an Asian spice then the oven is to heat the tortillas the flour tortillas and so you heat them up and then you cover them with tin foil this is aluminum foil if people know what that is alright and so you're heating them and then you want to heat your serving dish as well to preheat that and then you're frying the vegetables and then separately you're frying the chicken and then you combine everything when it's on the plate. So you've got the warm tortilla, you've got the chicken that's fried but it's been kept warm, and you've got the peppers and onions that have been sautéed but they've been kept warm. And then you garnish it definitely. Um, you, you can't serve fajitas without some sour cream and guacamole and salsa. Okay, and so let's watch the video. I know it's fast. <laughs> I know it's extremely fast, but she does speak very clearly. And so, yeah, good luck. Oh, sorry, I wanted to say something. This video is not by Start Cooking. It's by another chef. Let's, let's watch a little bit of this video and see what you think.
So hot oil because you're going to saute them, which means quickly frying them. To marinade something means to leave it in the spices for a long time to let the spices soak in. Now he's putting them on the grill. Can you repeat? Sorry, uh, uh, to marinade something is to leave, usually it's meat, but sometimes things like mushrooms, and you leave it in the spice for a long time. So he's putting on his own sauce. Okay, and sorry, I'm going to end the video there. It's a little long. Uh, I think you, you saw him preparing most of the recipe, really. Uh, and just if I can ask everyone to please keep their microphones muted. You need to keep your microphone uh, silenced or turned off. And actually, I'm going along and muting people's microphones when I hear the sound coming from your microphone. And so any comments about him? And his fajitas. And, and this is your chance to practice your English, so... My comment is an X. Sorry? I like a lot the... My comment is an X. Sorry, uh, because my signal is very delayed. But, but for that reason I had terrible problems. But I can hear you very well. And I will do a comment about this, the, the fajitas. I am hungry now, <laughs> watching, <laughs> watching this video. Um, I think all kinds of food in all the world is amazing. Uh, the, the problem here is we have different kind of, of life, different, I'm, I'm different, Cost, uh, how do you say? Mm, costumbres. Somebody can C help customs? me to say the customs. customs yes. Yeah. Okay. We have different costumes. Um, the food, finally, um, in all world countries, is is incredible. We have a big a big amount of special food okay. to eat. Oh. Great, okay. yes. No, the different and, and sharing food is a great way to share uh, cultures and customs, different yeah. customs and cultures. Someone else, a, a quick comment? Yes. Uh, yes, Ahmad? Okay. Uh, I liked uh, his way to cook uh, and uh, saute. <laughs> it was very yeah, fast. The saute, today, yeah. right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> that, great. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> very professional. And another comment from someone? Yeah, I wouldn't yes? like to eat it. Yeah. I don't yeah. like much pepper and any kind of veg vegetables, actually. Uh -oh. okay. <laughs> and mostly onion. I don't eat it. Uh, but I like the way he salty it. It's very professional. Yeah, I really like and it. he said you want the color of the vegetables to be bright. And so the idea is that they're not overcooked. You yeah. saute them, which is, this is the art of cooking cooking them just enough so that they're still crispy 
but tender. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it, I don't it's... like to eat it, but I love to cook, so sometimes okay. I do stuff like that <laughs> for yes. my friends and go. Yeah. For... yeah, great. And you can have people in the kitchen watching you fry and prepare the things. Yeah, it's fun. Does, does anybody have a sauce that they put on meat whenever they're grilling or barbecuing something? Sorry, my connection is failing, yeah. I guess. I don't okay. understand well. Yeah. So, no, sorry, I, I wanted to ask everyone the question. Uh, does someone have a sauce that they put on meat when they grill the meat or barbecue the meat? We can Sometimes, make it. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Uh, go ahead, Armando. Sometimes in Mexico, we we use beer. Beer. Okay. A little yeah. of beer. Beer. Yes, beer. A little of beer. Okay. To the, to the uh, I, I, you can marinate things with beer and spices. Yeah. Uh, Andres, did you have a comment? Uh, no. Here in Argentina, we we only add. Uh, I don't know in English if there is a name. We use uh, something called chimichurri. Uh, yeah. I chimichurri. I, I'm in Chile, and so they have it yeah. here. So it's a mixture of spices. Yeah, it's a mixture of spices. Right? So that's okay. with what we but, add on barbecues. When but it's, is it a dry? It's, are there dry spices, or do you make a sauce out of it? No, there are dry spices, yeah. and you mix them with uh, oil. Oh, OK. Um, Vinagre, I don't know how to say it. Vinegar. 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 Yeah, balsamic vinegar. vinegar. Yeah. Okay. Great. I have a comment. All right. Yes, go ahead, please. Uh, about video. Yes. Uh, I, I looked a uh, serve type, and our, uh, in our country, uh, the different serve, uh, the vegetables different serve. Uh, how can I say? Like, uh, not on uh, plate, and like how can I say I I can uh, I can so they're they're not served on a plate I, I, I can't explain it I'm uh, yeah. I'm here uh, that uh, link yeah like oh, this, okay like All this right. served and uh, I sometimes we use uh, a milk uh, for uh, sourced uh, meat yes okay because uh, the, then uh, if we meat with uh, milk, do yeah. milk with meat, and meat uh, should uh, soft be more yes. soft. It will be tender. Yes. All right. So mm -hmm. you marinate uh, the meat in milk. Really? Like milk? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So when so when we say yeah softer, but what we say with with meat we say tender. 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 Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. Great. Excellent. All right. Thank you for your comments. Let's go with the final recipe here, which is dessert. And so we've got brownies uh, on the way, which is maybe one of the most famous desserts because it's easy to make. And so I'm going to bring that up on the screen share. And uh, I need to know where where we left off. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, do Bruno, you had a chance to read, I believe. Yes, Bruno, you read some of the recipe. Yes, I read oh, it. Okay, before. and, I and so I, I think we're with Jorge. Are you there, Jorge? Yes, I'm here. Yes, good. Uh, is it your turn to read? Yes, sugar yes, food please. brownies. Good, please continue. Yeah. Learn how to make chocolate fudge brownies with star cookings. New recipe video. Your friends and family will enjoy this delicious treat. Chocolate brownies are everyone's favorite. So get to work. Cheers. <laughs> okay. So this recipe serves eight people. There are the brownies there. And could you yeah. read the ingredients for us, please? Yeah. 14 tablespoons of butter. One... One and a half, one half. Yeah, one half cup of one sweet net cocoa. One and one four I don't know what is the one and one quarter. Yeah. One and one quarter cups of sugar, three large eggs, two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Okay, and just we say cocoa. 
Coco. So okay. we do not, in English, we do not pronounce the A. So Coco. Okay. Coco. 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 Okay. Uh, and with these three more ingredients, please. Yeah. One and a half cup of flour, one pinch of salt, and one cup of walnuts. Chop it. Chopped. Okay, Chopped. great. All right, and I'm going to go on to uh, cork. Cork mass. Okay. Hello, cork mass. Yes, good. Could you Hi. start reading the directions, please? Of course. Hi, everybody. I am so sorry. I missed the first part of the class, but... Oh, no. Welcome. Let, let me try to do my best. Uh, okay. Thank you for place your the oven. Uh, place the oven rack in the middle of the oven. Preheat oven the 350 degrees. Line an 8 inch by 8 inch by 2 inch pan with tin foil. Spray foil with cooking spray. Cut batter into pieces. Place the butter into a large microwave safe bowl and melt it in a microwave. Micro. Microwave, sorry. Mm -hmm. No, no, it's with, fine. with a whisk blend in unsweetened cocoa, add sugar and mix well. In another bowl, lightly beat together eggs, oops, together eggs and vanilla extract. Add egg mixture to the cocoa mixture and blend together. Okay, I'm going to get you to stop there. Thank okay. you. And uh, I'm just going to go on to uh, the next person. And so, Melissa, hello, welcome. Hey. Could you please read uh, the rest of the directions for us? And so, just... where do I start? Now, where are we going? Uh, I think it's, uh, so we, sorry, uh, in another bowl, I think. Um. Oops, sorry. Sorry. So in another bowl, we so we've beat the eggs and the vanilla extract. We've and we've added the egg mixture to the cocoa mixture, and we blended it together. So could you begin with mix in flour and salt? <laughs> mix in flour and salt. Fold in walnuts. Pour into prepare pan and bake for 30 minutes. To test for donuts, insert a wooden scoop. Toothpick into the center of the brownies. If you have some moist crumbs attached to it, do not over bake. Okay, I'm just gonna, sorry, I'm gonna move this down. Go ahead, please. Remove brownies from the oven and cool completely on a wire rack. Flip the brownies onto a wire rack and peel away the foil. Flip brownies onto cutting board to cut. Wrap in plastic wrap and store in an airtight container at room temperature or in the refrigerator. These brownies freeze beautifully. Good. Freeze. Freeze, sorry. Yeah, they freeze beautifully. Okay, so let's get going. And this is the uh, one of the videos from the website, Start Cooking. So you need to add your YouTube application
Hello, hello. Great job, everybody. And Vicente says that uh, women really fancy men who know cooking. <laughs> so it's, uh, yeah. All right. And uh, what, what about women who don't cook, women who can't cook? Gentlemen, what do you think? It's Is that easy. important? It looks easy. <laughs> All right, and so uh, any final comments? We've just got a couple of minutes left in the class. I have um, a comment for yes, this. Yes, go, go ahead, please. I think she is user uh, very, very, uh, how can I say, very much butter. I think yes. this is thickening, thickening for too, my too stomach. Too much. Oh, okay, so you think she uses too much butter. Yes, yes. Okay, good, good. I don't understand uh, why please, she... Please continue. Uh, uh, yeah? Good. Bruno? I don't understand why she has to wait for the brownie to cool. I like to eat it hit, uh, uh, yes. warm yet. <laughs> yeah, I, I think it's to remove the foil and to yeah. cut them. It's yes. pretty difficult. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you will not be able to cut them yeah. if it is oh, still yeah. moisture. Yeah. But then you just eat them right out of the pan while they're yeah, still like that. <laughs> With your glass and of milk. By the way, you hmm. you say about uh, women, woman, women woman? who can't cook. Uh, I, yeah, just my girlfriend doesn't cook, so okay. I have to cook for ah, yes. okay. everyone. <laughs> that's that's been my experience too. Okay. <laughs> and so I want to make comment. another comment. Yeah. Please, Armando. Yeah. Uh, my Yes, my comment is, I, I, I am thinking that maybe we need to have uh, in, the, in the schools some class uh, obligatory about this item because is, is when we are in the school at the beginning, if all the girls and all the men can cook, when they, they will be married, they will be very happy because both they will, yeah. <laughs> they will can cook. cook. Hmm. Yeah, no, uh, in it's Canada, important. I think it's mandatory for grade 8, grade 9 students to take a cooking class. They call it life skills uh, or domestic skills or something like that. All right, and so uh, I'm sorry, I have to go uh, because I'm teaching again right away. So super job, everybody. Uh, thank you so much for your participation and your comments. And uh, Vicente is promising to try one of the recipes. And so, yeah, go ahead and, and give one a try. So Thank take care. Much. I'll talk take to you care. soon. Thank you Thanks very much.